Kickboxing? That is all this game is called? Kickboxing? Nothing else. No other name. The European title is actually Kickboxing Knockout, and the Japanese title is Simple 1500 Series Volume 64, The Kickboxing. Now, the Simple 1500 Series has had its fair share of games dating all the way back to 1997 up to 2002. And some of them were named Boxing, Racing, Bowling, The Pinball, and more. Kickboxing was developed by Jorodan and published by A1 Games. It was released on the PlayStation around 2001, 2002, depending on where you get your information from. So as you can see, kickboxing is a kickboxing fighting game. Luckily, it doesn't just use generic looking characters, and on top of that, there is a slight story behind this game. In story mode, you will play as either Red or Sang and take them through a story where you try to become better fighters. There is dialogue between each matches, which is nice, and going through the main gameplay mode will unlock characters by beating them. Each fighter has their own speed, too. Some of the characters are Tanaka, Azteca, Red, Jackal, Sang, Nanchan, BT, Ryoko, and more. There's around 15 or so characters in this game, and you can unlock a bunch of them. Each of them has their own skills, speeds, and so on. There is a ranking mode where you can try to become champion, and of course multiplayer, so you can play with a friend. You can play up to three rounds, sometimes more, depending the farther you go, and you will punch, kick, and even do a little bit of grappling attacks, similar to the kickboxing style. The graphics for kickboxing are pretty damn nice for a PlayStation game. Now, granted, this came out around the early 2000s, more so 2002, and I think it it looks really well done. The characters look nice. Granted, they are a little bulky, polygon-style looking, similar to what you've seen in the early Virtua Fighter games, but I can't complain about that. The ring designs are nice and change it up a little bit here and there. The animations are well done. The game doesn't glitch or slow down. Not a ton I can complain about, to be honest. The music? Well, it's not horrible, but I wouldn't say it's the best I've ever heard, and not the most well-composed music I've ever heard in gaming, but it does fit well with this game. The sound effects from the fighting noises and everything are great. When it comes to the controls, Surprisingly, they're not bad. Maybe a little bit slow at responding here and there. It almost seems like it's a little bit off when attacking. Same with moving. But it's not a game-breaking deal for me. You can punch, kick, block, move around, and so on, which is nice. Overall, could be better, but I've played a hell of a lot worse than this. While the name fucking sucks, kickboxing is actually enjoyable. Tough at times, especially in the story mode, but the ranking mode is fun, and the game is simple and easy to understand. The graphics are good for its time. The music is okay. The sound effects are great. The controls, while a little slow at responding, are not the worst I've ever seen and are very playable. It's fun for a cheap thrill. That's pretty much it. Now, if you want to pick up Kickboxing, it was released on the PlayStation 3, PlayStation Portable, and PlayStation Vita, but who knows if you can get them anymore. It was on the PlayStation Network. It is 36% rare, and prices on eBay range from $197, $799, $895, $11 for a sealed copy, $499, $224 for a disc only, and prices in between. Not bad at all for those prices. Hell, even that sealed copy. That's a really cheap sealed game. And it's kind of surprising, too. Now, there was no direct sequel to this game, at least not to my knowledge, but there is a similar fighting game known as Boxing. That is just traditional boxing with some of the same characters. Of course, it is a simple 1500 series game. And there's quite a few games in that series that I'm sure I'm going to cover at some point. I hope you enjoyed this review of Kickboxing on the PlayStation. Thanks for watching.